My name is Jonathan Elliotson. I'm the principal trumpeter of the Kingston Symphony. Uh, I live in Toronto, Ontario. I'm 29 years old. Uh, I've been playing the trumpet for 21 years. I didn't really pick the trumpet. The trumpet kind of picked me in a way. Um, my dad was a really great trumpet player and a great educator. Um, and so all of his kids learned piano mandatorily. Um, and then we were to learn the trumpet after that. And I'm, I'm kind of the only one who's carrying it on professionally at this point. I enjoy playing the trumpet because it's a very authoritative instrument. It's a very present voice in the orchestra. Um, it can also blend with all the sounds going on and, and enhance the sound by its contribution. It's really great. Also, it can be a very lyrical solo voice, which is probably my favorite part, um, ultimately, is um, you get to sing a lot in the orchestra as first trumpet. Uh, the way I got into the Kingston Symphony, uh, short answer is by audition, long answer, good teachers. <laughs> like Anita McAllister, my first teacher at of my dad, is still uh, one of the greatest mover, movers and shakers in my life. Um, and then Andrew McCandless and everything that, you know, he taught me, especially at GGS and all the other teachers who came through. So, um, and then NYO, man, seriously, like it, literally anybody who says they've come up with their own thing, they're lying. <laughs> we stand on the shoulders of giants. I firmly believe that. I was in a very intense music, music program at the Glenn Gould School um, in the Royal Conservatory. I was doing NYO in, in the summer before I took the audition. Um, and I firmly believe that that was a really great um, way for me to get in shape right before an audition is just to be playing a lot and be playing around really good musicians. The Gene Kelly tribute concert was by far my favorite, my favorite time. A little bit biased, there was a solo number dedicated completely to the first trumpet. There was, we had a, a lead trumpet from Montreal come in to play assistant for me because there's some stuff in there that I couldn't play. And I got to learn how he did it as well just from sitting next to him, which was Anyway, it was very impressive and it was a really nice collegial moment of two very different trumpet players completely supporting each other and rooting for each other. And so in addition to the Kingston Symphony, uh, I'm a freelance trumpet player. So I play all around Toronto, I play around Hamilton, or at least did uh, before this, this hit. But I'm also a member of the Canadian Armed Forces, a uh, currently active serving member of the Canadian Armed Forces. Primarily as a musician uh, and as a trumpet instructor. Um, but for a small time at the beginning of this pandemic, I was actually deployed uh, on domestic relief operations. Thankfully, I didn't have to go anywhere. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's definitely a big part of my life that not everyone gets to see in Kingston. Um, as you can see, I actually uh, I took up the trombone during quarantine because I needed something to uh, help me stay uh, in, engaged. I actually started a trumpet club with two of my friends. And that's been really great. We basically prepare three different contrasting, like contrasting etudes, and then we'll record them and then listen to them together and then give comments. Humans were designed for community, so it's important to commune with other humans. This is Isaac. He's been keeping me company while in quarantine. He's not very happy right now because I woke him up from a nap, but there he is. <laughs> You know, I do think it's important to listen to quality music in our daily lives. I once heard a pastor describe, uh, a trumpet player actually, uh, his rendition of Be Thou My Vision as a little slice of heaven. Uh, and I think, I think he's right in the sense there where with good music, we're actually listening to something transcendent. Uh, good mu like I can't write like Mahler, it's clearly transcendent of myself. When we are setting our focus on things that are transcendent, I think that's where we grow. 